Uh, things are moving right along. We're on to installing the, the rough plumbing on this mixer valve here. Um, this is kind of standard. They're all about the same. Uh, one is up going to the shower. One goes down to a tub spot, but we don't have a tub, so we have to cap this off. And um, we'll need to put some Teflon tape around here um, before we put this cap on. So this plastic thing here is to help you set the depth of where this mounts. This is supposed to be flush with the finished wall surface. So that's how I, I gauge where to put this blocking, but I'm going to take it off for now. I'll put it back on with a cover just to keep this, this all nice and clean. But we've got our, our stopper on, the Teflon tape. For now, I've got center marked. Find my screw gun. I'll lose it in there. What I'm doing now is just feeding the pecs back behind the wall here and um, I'm going to be connecting it up to that rough plumbing and I'll be connecting it right here too. Here's our shower head fitting. So what do you think of the project so far? I'm really not sure how I'm going to edit all this together. I've been hopping around all over the place. And the reason I do that is um, I always go after the unknowns or the hardest part or things where I'm not sure how it's going to go. time to pour the shower base. You can see I got my bucket set up, my mortar. This is my quick pitch. This is the product that I'm using to make the mortar bed. It's got sand and Portland cement in it. It can actually be poured up to three inches thick.
most of the pressure is bled out of the hot and cold. They're both open. I'm just going to keep letting them drain. One good thing with these shark bites is it doesn't take long to make the connection. So I'm just going to trim a little bit out of here and just really take a, a minute or so. And if a little bit of water dribbles down behind the wall, uh, everything will be fine. So I took our ring off, and I think this is in the off position. At least I hope it's in the off position, because if it's not, water is going to come shooting out of that hole across the room. off that's good so at this point everything's tested no leaks the hot and cold water and it's time to start tiling basement bed and bathroom. Uh, the part that I'm working on today is I need to patch all the drywall. That's it for part two of this project. Tune in next week to see the final product. If you haven't seen part one of this project, just click the link that's on your screen right now. If you know someone that's refinishing their basement, if you want, you can share this video by clicking the share button below.